Good morning to the girls and the gays only, of course. Um, hi. Every morning now, I've been, like, I'll get out of bed, I'll come into the kitchen, I'll make my coffee, and then I go sit back in bed, and I read, like, two chapters of my book. Instead of wasting my life away on my phone for an hour and, like, fucking up the whole beginning of my day, that's what I've been doing. I still, like, text my boyfriend when I first wake up, but then I put my phone down, and I come and make a fucking coffee. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I've been trying to really stay off my phone first thing in the morning because it's good for you. But my thing is like when I first wake up, like I need to, I need to do something in order to stay awake. Like if I just lay there, I'm going to go back to sleep. So this is what I've been doing. I just drove to Blackstone Boulevard to go for a run. I still like, whenever I move from one area to a different one, I still always go to my old neighborhood to like do everything and like run errands and stuff. This is like the area I used to live in when I lived in Providence before I did TikTok and everything. Um, I live like downtown now and it's beautiful, but like I just don't feel like finding a different place to run. This is where I used to run every single day. So, I'm here. If any of you guys are like OG OGs, you would remember like when I was first doing TikTok and I would make those like weird videos like getting over my ex and finding happiness again. And I would like run every day in these little vlogs and like go to like a park to like do sit ups. This is the park that I would come to to do the like jumping jacks and like squats. I've done a lot of squats in this park and I've also drank a lot of wine in this park. Um, so I'm gonna go for my run right now also. I just re-fell in love with like my old headphones. I used these for so long and then I got the Apple AirPod Maxes, but you cannot run with Apple AirPod Max is like it's impossible like they just like they get really long and they like slide all over the place like they're not comfortable so I tried using these again and I fucking fuck with them I love these so I'm using my Sony's again I'm also literally about to run with a clip in my hair because I don't want to like crease my hair because I just straightened it yesterday so I don't know how this is gonna go I've never ran with just like a clip in I'm still so sleepy. I don't know why I've been up for like two hours now and my face is so puffy from sleeping still. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I just came to Providence Bagel. When I was a teenager, my boyfriend Keith at the time, we used to live like right down this road. I used to live there, but he basically like slept at my house every day. But I lived like right down the street and every single morning he would wake up and scooter to Providence Bagel and pick me up a whole wheat everything bagel toasted with vegan chive cream cheese and red onion and a Arnold Palmer. And he would scooter it back to my apartment and like wake me up with it and it was so cute. I got something different today because they were out of vegan cream cheese. Um, I got a iced coffee with oat milk and I got this massive sandwich. And I'm kind of excited because I've, I've never eaten anything else here besides my regular order. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my god. I got the Harvest sandwich and it's literally giant. It's just like essentially a bunch of vegetables on a holy everything bagel. It's avocado, red onion, tomato, spinach, and cucumber or something. Oh, and like an herb oil. You guys, look at this. I'm freaking out. I'm going to devour her i guess mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay i just got home i'm gonna get ready for the day in a few minutes and try to depuff my face because like holy fuck but i just figured i would update you guys a little bit because i like to keep you in the loop i just got back from chicago um like two days ago i'm in rhode island right now at my condo for a few weeks um but i figured i would stop in Chicago like on my way here to visit Colin. I vlogged a lot of it on TikTok just because I like to like show you guys everything so if you want to see like a few little vlogs from Chicago with Colin, I have some of my TikTok but um, <laughs> He asked me to be his girlfriend And I'm so happy. There was this cute little beach on like Lake Michigan 
that we went to both days that I was there and we were there on Saturday and there was this cute little beach bar that I loved so much so we were at the beach bar hanging out and then we like put towels from our hotel down on the beach like at nighttime and it was like raining a little bit and we laid on the beach for a little while and he asked me to be his girlfriend and I was like are you fucking are you fucking kidding like of course so he's my boyfriend now I just wanted to tell you guys <laughs> nobody has made me this happy in like such a long time and I don't really know how to describe it but like I feel like over the past like three or so years a lot of people have come and go out of my life and I've had a lot of you know friendships and like guys that I've talked to and stuff but none of them felt like it's been hard for me to find like a genuine connection with someone and somebody that I genuinely love talking to and someone that adds to my life in that way because I don't know I just feel like most of those were very forced because as you guys know it's really hard for me to like open up to people and feel comfortable like having conversations I, I have like I don't know I just I tend to keep to myself and like I don't really have that many people in my life that I feel comfortable talking to so I tend to try to force relationships and like friendships and stuff like that because I feel like I have to and I feel like if I stick it out for a long period of time that it will like finally click one day but it doesn't work like that so it's just it's really nice I feel like once I stopped trying to force relationships and friendships with people and just like cut all of that off I like found him and it's just I'm just really happy and I wanted to share that with you guys he's so cute he like called me last night because I was I've been planning on going to Illinois to like visit his actual like hometown for like like a week or something but I just figured I would stop in Chicago for like two days on my way here and then do that like next month but he calls me last night he's like hey like I was just wondering if we could like plan your your Illinois trip like do you want to come here for like a week I was like yeah and I'm literally going I guess in next month I'm going in exactly a month so he's like yeah you can I was thinking you could come here for like a week and then maybe like right from there like I can come to Rhode Island for like four days I was like you're so cute he's just so cute and I'm so excited to spend like a long period of time with him but anyways enough of the sappy shit um I'm gonna get ready for the day and try to uh I don't know I'm gonna like shower and do my skincare and all that stuff and I'll see you in a little bit Okay, I'm doing like a really simple makeup routine right now. I just want to try out like a couple new products that I got yesterday and um, do something super chill. So I got this. Well, I have this already, but I, I have the Tarte like Sculpt Tape Contour in Medium Cool Bronze, but it's a little dark. So I got the regular Cool Bronze, cool bronze yesterday and I'm going to try it right now. I don't even think I want to put on concealer. Would that look weird if I just did contour with no concealer? I don't care. I don't care. I've been on the hunt for a perfect contour shade that's not orange for my whole life. Um, and I've, I've had, I have a few that are in the running for the best, but they're still, they still could be tweaked. So I'm still looking. Yeah, she's slay. Like I can't just use the medium cool bronze if I'm like having a chill day. Like it looks really intense. <laughs> it's really dark. I'm just gonna put concealer over like my hormonal acne that I have all of a sudden. No, it's just because I took that medication that I was telling you guys about and it fucked up my hormones. Now I have zits all over my mouth. Right there. So I'm just gonna cover those up with concealer. Okay, I also got this yesterday. I got the Tarte. I'm in a Tarte era of my life. I'm loving Tarte products. So I got this Tarte Glow Tape. It's like a highlight. So I'm gonna put this on right now. It's the Golden Glow one. I hope it's not too dark to be a highlight for me. Ooh. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do some eyebrow gel. I use the Anastasia brow freeze and I just brush my eyebrows. Oh God. Um, I brush them up like this. And then I'm gonna do freckles with my ColourPop freckle pen. I have it in soft brown. This is the best way to do freckles. And I've been doing fake freckles since like ninth grade. <laughs> Even when I used to not wear, like I never wore makeup. Um, I just recently started wearing makeup, but I've always, always done fake freckles on my face. Also, you guys, I wanted to share with you something cute that me and Colin do every single day. I just think it's such a cute thing to like do with your partner 
every day I call it our nightly routine, but every, <laughs> I've never done this with any other like boyfriend or anything. So it's like super fun and I love doing it. So every single night since we started talking, we do a peek in a pit of our day every single night. We're usually talking on the phone every night. So we'll just do it like right before we go to sleep on the phone or if like one of us is out doing something, we'll send like audio messages of our pit of our day and our peak of our day and we both do it. And it's just like, just a cute thing to do. And also we implicated this like three nights ago. We just started doing this, but we do question of the day every day. I have this little box from Methodology. It's called Penny for Your Thoughts. Honestly, I think this was Jordy's, but somehow I got it in our in the move. I don't know where this came from, but it's just like a card game for conversation. And each card has like a really good question on it. Like they're honestly like fire. I've already, we've already done the top three, so I'm allowed to read this, but like, what's your favorite thing to do on a Saturday morning? Who's the person you most love talking to and why? Like they're just like really cute questions. So I'll pick one card from this box each night and we'll both answer it. It's just like something that we both like look forward to doing every night and it's like a fun thing to do. So I encourage you to start doing that with your partner because I think it's the best. Okay, I just finished this quick little makeup look. I really love those new products that I tried. This was like this was a success. I took a little nibble from an edible yesterday and I went to Bald Hill Road and I went to a few stores and got some stuff. So I'm gonna give you a haul. I originally nibbled this edible because I was going to Olive Garden with my grandpa and my mom and I wanted to fucking eat. So I nibbled, but then I got there early. So I decided to go across the street to the plaza and go shopping. I just got a couple of things. I got the Tarte um, Sculpt Tape and the Glow Tape from Ulta. And I also just got a little Goy Sha because I don't have one here and I like using these sometimes. And then I went to Best Buy and I got a camera bag because I don't have a camera bag. Whenever I travel, my camera is just banging around in my backpack with no lens cap, nothing. It's just banging around in there. So I got a camera bag so that it doesn't break. And then I went to Barnes and Noble. I used to be obsessed with word searches. I still am, but I, I, the reason I was obsessed with them is because on my 21st birthday, my coworker got me this like really cute one like a really cute word search book. Cause normally when you get them, they're just like kind of like, like the newspaper pages and stuff. But she got me a really cute one and I loved it. So I wanted to get like another cute one. So I went to Barnes and Noble and I got an affirmations word search. I love it. I did so many of them last night. It was so fun. Like how cute. I appreciate other people's beauty without questioning my own. Like there's little affirmations on each page and it's just like, I just like love it. So I got this from Barnes and Noble and I also got the next book in my series that I'm reading. It's called Hot House Flower by Krista and Becca R Ritchie. I got that and then I went to the paper store and I got a cute pen. Oh, there's another pen too. I got two cute pens. All right, and then what else did I get from the paper store? I got, I think these are meant to be friendship bracelets but I just got one cause it was really cute but I got this bracelet, it just says happy on it and it's yellow and I'm totally putting it. This was $25. <laughs> this bracelet was $25. I could have made this for 50 cents. I didn't realize it was that expensive. And then I just got this cute little Boston hat cause I don't have any Boston hats. I just have a bunch of New York hats. I'm not even from New York. So I got one of these. Before I leave for the day, I'm actually gonna play my little Frank Sinatra record and um do one of my word searches because i think i need to do an affirmation word search before i leave for the day right i literally rotted away yesterday and this is all i did i listened to frank sinatra and i wrote in my word search book and it was such a vibe i had so much fun so i'm gonna do it again I just sent Colin the craziest audio message and I wish I could tell you guys this full story because I literally am still at a loss for words, but like I'll basically dumb it down in a sentence. Like my best friend, my best girlfriend of like my whole life um, tried to fuck me a few months ago. <laughs> and now like she still asks me to hang out all the time and I'm like, I, I don't want to um, come to that issue again. I don't want to hang out with you and you try to fuck me again. Like that doesn't sound fun. So like, I don't know what to, like I never just like, I don't respond to her cause I'm like, I don't know what to do. It was just the most bizarre thing in the world. Like 
we were best friends inseparable for so long and then she literally tried to fuck me. So, like she just asked me to hang out. I'm like, I guess I have to ignore her again because I don't want to be put in that position. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you guys the truck that I'm renting for um, my time on the East Coast right now. I tried to rent a Jeep Wrangler, but I got to the place, I, I rented it from Enterprise, and they were like, oh, you can't rent this because you're under 25 and this is a luxury car. So I couldn't get the Jeep, and I kind of like swore off trucks because I rented a Ram 1500 when I was in Chicago last month, and it was so big I couldn't park it. So I was like, I'm never renting. A truck again like especially like if I'm driving around in the city because I literally couldn't parallel park it I couldn't park it in parking garages it was a mess but I saw this Chevy Colorado and it's like so small so it's like okay she's cute this is my bay for the next couple of weeks because I can't drive like sedans like I'll only drive like <laughs> like a Jeep or like a bigger car and like I love trucks and I love driving them just not in the city but this one's perfect because it's like a mid-sized so I'm on the east side right now where I used to live before I did TikTok and this is where I used to work. Like this is where my restaurant is that I used to work. It's on like Hope Street. I'm walking to Hope Street right now because there's this really cute gift shop across the street from my old restaurant that I love so much. Like it's just so cute and I want to go in and like look at everything. Also remember when I was home like a few minutes ago and I told you guys like a very vague explanation of my best friend that tried to fuck me. Um, I just made like a whole TikTok about it explaining the whole situation. And it's so funny, but I don't want to post it because I don't want her to see it. That'd be so awkward. Like, I feel like I can say more on YouTube because, like, she's not watching my YouTube videos. But, like, TikToks are more, like, available to the general public. And I don't want her to see that, but I want to post it so bad. I don't know what to do. I'm here visiting my baby at stock. Hello. I just showed her pictures of Colin and she thinks he's so cute. Mm -hmm. She goes, I do. <laughs> I really do. I just tried to go to like the back alley of the restaurant I used to work at to tell this story because I cannot have anyone hearing this, but someone was back there, so I left. But there's this clothing store right there that I've only been to once and it was because... Okay, I just came to my car so I could safe, safely tell you guys this story without anyone hearing me. But yeah, my boyfriend at the time like worked at the restaurant with me for like a short period of time. So we would drive to work together and we drove to work together in his dad's truck. His dad's truck. And he was a shucker so he had to be in like 30 minutes before me when we were just working like a dinner shift. So he went in at like 3.30 and I stayed in the car to take like a short nap before my shift and I had taken laxatives the day before because I used to get constipated like all the time. So I had laxatives in my system and I fell asleep in the passenger side of his dad's truck and I shit myself. I shit myself in his dad's truck. <laughs> I shit myself so much not to put any more details into this. No one wants to hear this. I shit myself so much that it came up out of my leggings all over the seat. Like I'm not fuck. Like, Oh, and I was wearing my work clothes like I was wearing like black leggings that, that was like my work clothes And I had nothing else with me and I had shit all over <laughs> all over me in his car So I what did I wrap around me? I wrapped something around my ass Like my apron I think like I, I wrapped my work apron around my ass And I had to walk to that store in hopes that they had leggings and they did so I got new leggings I changed in the truck I had to walk into the restaurant and tell my boyfriend that I just shit myself in his dad's truck. And we didn't have time to do anything about it, so we had to wash it that night. Like, he had to help, my boyfriend had to help me wash my shit out of the car. So now every time I walk by that clothing store, I think of that and, uh, like imagine if someone walking down the street just heard me tell that story. Like, good thing I'm in my car. Okay, I just drove to Ferris Street because there's an Urban Outfitters here and I'm going to three Morgan Wallen concerts next week and I'd like to find another dress because I've worn the same ones to every show. I have one new dress and a sweater that I wanted to wear, but it's gonna be too hot so I can't wear the sweater. So I'd like to find like one or two more dresses. If not, I won't die, but I just decided that I should come here and browse, so. Okay, I just did like a little grocery trip, so I'll just show you everything I got. I got some more cold brew for my coffee in the morning and I got almond milk even though I don't like almond milk. I'm just really trying to get into it. Um, for breakfast, I got some coconut unsweetened yogurt with, this is my favorite granola. 
ever. It's the Michelle's granola and lemon pistachio. It's so bomb and I got cacao nibs and then some strawberries, blueberries and raspberries for that. I got stuff to make my salad. So I got some romaine lettuce, green onion, Parmesan, vegan Parmesan, and then lemons for the dressing. And I got these little mini cucumbers, jalapenos, avocados. And recently I've been loving eating like little veggies with like hummus. So I just got these like little mini sweet peppers and I got carrots and this hummus with no oil added, question mark. I don't know how that's gonna be. I've never tried hummus without oil, but it's like literally just chickpeas and tahini and water. So that's interesting. Oh, I also got a random tea. I don't know why I got this. I don't drink tea. I've never had this brand. I was feeling crazy at Whole Foods today. I'm gonna go for a quick walk because I was listening to um, an episode of Love You Bye this morning after my run and I didn't finish it, and I kinda wanna finish it. I have like 30 minutes left, so I'm gonna go for a little walk around town. I need a bite of this pistachio lemon granola really quick. Mmm. Um, I've been so tired for like three days. I don't know why. Um, like, no matter how much coffee I drink, I'm still tired throughout the day, like exhausted. Like I don't wanna speak. And it's been like three days of this now, which is weird because i don't know i normally have a lot of energy like in the morning i start to dwindle down at around 2 p.m all the time but like normally i have so much energy before then and i don't know what's going on but You guys, I'm literally the cutest. So I just drove to Narragansett, which is like the beach town in Rhode Island, and I drove to the seawall, and look what I did in the bed of my truck, because I'm the cutest alive, and I thought this would be so fun. How cute am I? Right on the beach. I just FaceTimed with Colin for a little bit. I'm so dramatic, you guys. When I was packing to leave, I was like, oh, he might go to sleep by the time I'm like still here. So I took one of those cards that I was talking about earlier, those little question cards, and I like shut my eyes and I slipped it into a glasses case so that I wouldn't see it. And I wouldn't ruin the surprise for myself. And we just did our little question of the day. I brought three books, cause I'm, again, dramatic. I brought my little word search and I even packed a little dinner. I made myself dinner and I packed it in this like cooler bag. I'm probably gonna eat this right now cause I'm actually starving, but look, I made myself a to-go salad because I'm adorable and I put the dressing in a cup. <laughs> I brought my headphones because I have an iPad kid and I need to watch like videos when I eat. So I'm gonna find a video and eat my little salad. Look who showed up to funk with me in my in my car. Is that Bill? <laughs> Is that Bill? Where? Where? <laughs> Tara's World's mom. Hi. Hey, baby. Let's hang out every minute of every day. Okay. And never leave Rhode Island. She calls me. I was laying down. She goes, where are you? So I poke my head up and she was like over there. <laughs> like, what? Stalking you. I said, what are you doing, you little loser? Sleeping in the bed of a truck on the side of the road. <laughs> you little weirdo. <laughs> Okay, I'm in bed. I got home like two hours ago. I was just FaceTiming Colin and doing my skincare. I cleaned up my kitchen a little bit. We're doing our peak and pit of the day. My pit was I've been so tired and irritable for like three days now and I don't know why. I think it's because either A, I have no pets here. So I'm just kind of like alone, like completely alone. Um. Cause normally I have like all my cats and my bird and like that keeps, that makes me really happy. So I think it's either that and like I miss Colin and like, I don't know. I've just been really like weird and you know, for like three days. So that's kind of bad. I was really tired and low key sad all day. My peak was my little truck bed moment with my blankets and my book on the beach. That was like so cute. I highly recommend doing that just bringing some like blankies and a book in your car if you live near a beach. Like that was like vibes and I really liked that. Um, but I'm in bed now. I'm gonna read for a little bit. I put my phone down and I set my alarm for tomorrow. Um, I've been really good at not going on my phone for the last like 30 minutes to an hour before I go to sleep. Unless I'm like 
FaceTime and calling or something like that. Like, I don't really count that. I count like scrolling on Instagram or like TikTok. Um, but he like went to bed already, so I'm not gonna touch my phone. Um, I'm gonna read and I made a little snack because I'm kind of starved. I made um a yogurt parfait. <laughs> I did the unsweetened yogurt with raspberries, blueberries, the granola, and the cacao nibs. And I'm gonna eat and read my book. I finished one while I was at the beach, so I'm starting one right now. I'm on like chapter two. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I was like low energy all day long and like kind of boring. I had no nothing funny to say today. Um, but thank you for hanging out nonetheless. I love you so, so, so much. And it was so much fun hanging out. Um, I'll link my Amazon storefront with all the stuff that I use um, in the description below. And all my other socials, my OnlyFans, my TikTok, and my Instagram are all in my description as well. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Good night. I accidentally stole this t-shirt from the Detroit airport the other day. I didn't mean to steal it. Uh, <laughs> but I'm kind of glad I did. Cause it's cute. Okay, bye. Love you. Ew. <laughs> bye. <laughs>